stopping at all. I want this shit forever, man, never mind, never mind. Shut your shit down in the mall. It's Sunday, girl, she the one for me. And I ain't even planning the call. I want this shit forever, mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Hey y'all, it's your girl Jay, and I'm back here with another video for y'all. In today's video, I will be installing a wig and covering it. I'm gonna do the watercolor method on this wig. So I already went in at the roots and added the color in, cause y'all know when you coloring a wig, a 613 wig, like a dark color, like colors like blue, purple, red, you know, they can tint the lace and make the lace all, you know, it just won't look right. So you have to go in, well I went in with the color at the roots already off camera. So right now I'm about to just go ahead and do the watercolor method for the rest of the wig. So the colors I used was Violet Gem and African Violet I think it was. And so, now I'm just going in, mixing the color, and I'm just stirring the colors up. So now I'm dipping the wig into the color, but I honestly should have got two bottles of each color so that the color would go through the wig like nice and right so that we dry all the same color because now the wig is all like right. it's like a two tone different type of purple, but that's fine. Also, make sure you brush through the wig while like dipping it into like the color to make sure like the colors all the way through the wig. So I already kept the wig and blow dried the wig off camera. So now I'm just applying the lace glue on top of my wig cap, like around the edge part of my wig cap and just like make sure it's all smoothed out with my comb. So now I'm taking my alcohol and just cleaning any excess glue that's um, around my wig cap. So I did I really like pre-cut the lace on my wig already so it can match up my like head shape. So I'm just like making sure like the position of the wig where I got to place it is right in position. So now I'm just going in and applying the wig on top of the glue, and yeah. So after applying the wig on top of the glue, I spray some got to be glue spray on top of the wig to give it that extra melt when I tie the um, wig down. Another thing, make sure that your lace is completely like dry at least. So when you go to tie down your lace front to keep it like nice and tight tied down, that it won't mess up at all when you take the headband off. Now I'm just taking my hot comb and wax it while having the headband on and just like and just like kind of like making my parts and stuff and making sure like my lace front is flat and yeah this also helps melt the lace into your scalp to really give it scalp for real so now i'm just going and cutting my lace, I'm going up under my baby hairs and cutting from behind the lace. And after I cut off all the lace, I go in with my got to be glue spray and spray down like the lace that's like lifting up a little bit and really like melts it into my skin. Y'all, I thought I had a video of me showing y'all like how I did my deep side part baby hair, but I don't. So I will be doing another video on deep side part, but I'm gonna show you on the other side how I do my baby ears. So 
So for my baby hairs, I use mousse. And with your baby hairs, you're gonna do like a C movement, but first you're gonna like push your baby hairs all the way to the front, if that makes sense. Then you do the C motion for it. And I did realize, like after doing this side baby hair, it's not like directly lined up. I should have pulled more baby hair down on this side, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, honestly with baby hairs, just keep playing with it and just keep like, like yeah, just keep playing with it because you're going to get the hang of it eventually. So this is how the hair came out. This is my 21st birthday hair. You know, we have to do big for the 21, you know, give Wakisha. But thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.